people ask, where do you get your ideas? Right here. All of this is my magician's toy shop. I'm Ray Bradbury. This is... Oz Mission One, calling Houston. Come in, Houston. Houston here, Mission One. Approaching target. Request permission to land. Repeat. Request permission to land. Permission granted. Here we go. Prepare to fire retro. Three, two, one. Fire. Atmosphere's thin for breathing, but there's enough oxygen. It's safe. Gentlemen, we did it. First man on Mars. Congratulations, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, did you hear that? Shh. Wait. A rooster crowing on Mars, sir? Captain, look. Trees. Trees? Can't be. Hey, what's that sound? Something cutting grass? It's impossible. Hey, Captain, look. Lawns. Hey, hold on. My God, that can't be. Houses. A town? Illinois. Iowa. Could be either. Captain, I know this place. It's Grinnell, Iowa. Greentown, Illinois. I got it. Here's Henley. We miscalculated. Circle round. Landed back on Earth. We've traveled 300 million miles, tracked by telemetry every inch of the way. There was no miscalculation. Well, uh, what if somehow we twisted in space, it hit a time warp, and have been thrown back to some old town, 1940, 1950? Now, cut it out. You're trained scientists. We orbited Mars, you saw it. We've landed. But, Captain, maybe it's possible. There's still a lot we don't know about time and space. Besides, how else can we explain this? We know there's nothing on Mars. Certainly not anything like this. Lustig, Wells, Larson, this is the captain. Larson here, Captain. Under no circumstances leave the ship. Check. Repeat. Do not leave the ship. Parallel civilizations, Mars and Earth. Parallel architecture, trees, houses. Parallel tennis courts. 
Look, suppose Mars evolved first and thousands, millions of years ago, sent out expeditions which colonized the Earth. So now man is descended from Martians. Well, that's one way to explain all this. Hey, what's this? It's just like one I had when I was a kid. Hey! These are my initials. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> hey, Hingston, where are you going? Hingston! Hingston, come back! I don't think he hears you. Captain, look! Well? William? Grandpa? Grandpa? Yeah. Just look at you. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> Sir, this is my grandfather. Yes, sir. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I don't understand, grandfather. You died. Shh, shh, shh. It's all right, Will. It's all right. <laughs> Come along. Come along. Everybody's waiting. Grandma. <laughs> Ellie? <laughs> Henley? 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 Welcome home. But, Skip, this... This is impossible. Mom? Dad? They're back at the house. The house? Yeah, Blackie, you're just in time. We got an apricot pie cooling on the back window. Got lemonade in the fridge. Got a band concert tonight. Fireworks at nine. You hear that? Race your home. Last one there is an old maid. No, wait, 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 skip, skip, wait. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Come on. Catch up to me. I'll race you back. Backwards. <laughs> I always could beat you.
there, dear. It's all right, son. Everything's going to be all right now. I don't understand. Don't even try. It's enough we're here together again. Hingston and his family. Hingston. To Henley and his. Henley. To my mother, my father, my brother. To this house which I lived in when I was 12 years old. I don't understand this. I don't understand either, Grandma, Grandpa. You've been dead for 20 years. 25. And Mother, you? 10 years. Then this is heaven? <laughs> no. Some sort of reincarnation? It's a place where we get a second chance. Don't ask me why, but we're here. And nobody told us why we were on Earth either. The other Earth, the one you've just come from. Then this is Mars. Finish the toast, boy. Finish the toast. To, to wherever this is. In whatever time, whatever place, for whatever reason. To each and to all. To each and to all. A welcome party. For your friends, dear. quit their stations. I couldn't stop them. It's all right, Larson. It's all right. But the ship. Well, shouldn't, shouldn't you order them to? Just want to be with their families. It's all right. But, sir. A glass of wine, Mr. Larson. There's some lemonade. Captain, request permission to return to ship. Captain? Dismissed? Dismissed. Such a nice young man. Mm. Too bad he didn't want to stay. Well, I don't know. I guess he just doesn't have anyone here. I mean, I've got you and Dad and Skip. And the others have found friends and family, but... Larson's an orphan. Guess he just didn't have anyone here to greet him. Front porch, everyone, who will all be late. Son, hmm? you all right? Yeah, yeah. Shall we go then? Go. To the band concert and the fireworks. <laughs> Thank you. 
never forget this evening. You, Skip, everyone. This is like heaven. You must be exhausted. Mm. It's a lot to take in. <laughs> a lot. It's been a long day. A long journey. I need time. Of course, dear. Time to sleep. Time to think. And then to sleep. Well, you better get this guy some shut eye, Hama. Shut eye. Good night, dear. Sleep well. Skip, this is our old room. Everything exactly as it was. Nothing has changed. Key wreck, not one iota. Oh, my. <laughs> My old star charts from high school astronomy. <laughs> My diploma from the Air Force Academy. Yep. But Skip, all of this burned. This house burned down. Everything went up in flames. Skip, you were killed in that fire. But look, Blackie. It's all here. I'm here, I'm real here. Touch me. See? Now don't spoil it. Hey. Catch. Sleep, Blackie? Yeah. Night, Blackie. Night, Skip. Blackie, what's wrong? No, nothing, nothing. I was just thinking. Thinking's bad for you. Come on, Blackie, what is it? What if we really did land on? This small Midwestern town isn't a small Midwestern town at all. The people are not friends and family. Not family? What if the Martians knew we were coming? How would they prepare for our arrival? For our invasion, as they might say it. How? Telepathy, hypnosis. Suppose the Martians could borrow our, our thoughts, our, our feelings, our memories, and use them as weapons against us with, with telepathy and hypnosis. My God, they could, they could become our aunts and uncles, mothers and fathers. Then all of the people in this town Martians disguised as Earth people. Pinkston's family isn't really his family. Henley's grandfather isn't his grandfather. And my mother isn't your mother. But what about me, Blackie? my brother. That's right. I'm a beast. I'm a monster. And I'm gonna kill you in your sleep.
Come on, Blackie, lie down. <laughs> Where are you going, Blackie? Just gonna get some water. But you're not thirsty. 